Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is going to be featuring the Z68X UD4 B3 motherboard from Gigabyte, and it is going to be an in-depth look at Intel Smart Response or SRT technology. What SRT technology allows us to do, at least according to the front of the Gigabyte box, is take a hard drive only system, add an SSD to it for caching, and enable up to four times faster performance in certain scenarios versus having only a hard drive alone for the boot drive for your system. Z68 is the latest chipset from Intel that has full support for their latest 1155 processors. So right here, I've got a 2600K. This is a fully unlocked processor and Z68 is able to take advantage of that particular feature of it. It is also able to take advantage of onboard video. Unlike P67 and H67, which could support unlocked overclocking or onboard video, but not both. Now for our SSD, we're gonna be using an Intel SSD. Smart Response technology supports only up to 60 gig SSDs as a cache because Intel found that any larger than that, you start seeing not as much benefit uh, for the amount of money you were investing and you're probably better off to just use the larger drive as a boot drive So you can clearly see this one says 120 gig. This is not exactly the drive we're going to be using It's just demonstrating Intel SSDs. Yes, they're good anything 60 gigs and under you can easily use it as an SRT SSD drive now the normal setup procedure for smart response technology involves reformatting your system drive. So I'm actually going to get the cameraman to come have a closer look at my test bench system here where you're going to be able to see that inside here I have a one terabyte Seagate boot hard drive and then I also have an SSD. So what I've done is I've created what I believe to be a more realistic and a more a streamlined scenario for how to enable SRT technology. That is why we're featuring a Gigabyte board because Gigabyte has a little utility called Easy Smart Response, which doesn't require a reformat. So I took an existing OS install partition, just plugged it into my test bench, I plugged in an SSD and I'm gonna run this and we're gonna see what happens. Now it looked for a second like the system wasn't responding, but then all of a sudden it was done and it opened up the Intel rapid storage technology, apparently libraries too, but it opened up the Intel rapid storage technology, um, I don't know, dashboard, let's call it that. And here we can see in the status, we can accelerate Intel smart response technology. So we're gonna click enable acceleration SSD on port one, 56 gigs, select the size allocated for cache memory. We're gonna do the full disk capacity, although with larger SSDs like this one, or even with smaller ones, you can allocate part of it for caching and the other part of it as storage or just as a, as a normal drive. So you could install a couple apps or a couple games on it and have really fast loading for those. Select the disk or volume to accelerate. We're gonna do the system drive. If you're not accelerating your system drive, you're pretty much doing it wrong. Okay, select the acceleration mode. So there's enhanced mode or maximized mode. While in maximized mode, the system performance is highly improved, but cached data may be lost in the event of a hardware removal or hardware failure. It could also be lost in the event of a power outage. I'm gonna go ahead with maximized mode because let's say I'm being very responsible. I've got my system on a UPS so it can't lose power unexpectedly. So let's go with that. Let's get the most performance out of this that we can. So now it's working guys. We can clearly see within the rapid storage technology dashboard that Accelerate is on, SSD is on port one, the disk is on port four, it is the system volume and that the acceleration mode is maximized. You can also see over here in the storage system view, we have our 56 gig drive here as a type RAID zero cache volume and that is for our internal system disk which is accelerated. So there is no doubt that it is enabled now. To demonstrate the performance difference between a cached system volume and a non-cached system volume, we're gonna be using the PCMark Vantage hard drive suite. We're going to run it three different ways. Once with a bare drive with no acceleration, once with acceleration, and then, and this is the kicker, a second time with acceleration enabled to show you guys how the caching works. The way it takes data that you've accessed before, stores it on the SSD in order to deliver dramatically better performance. So here it is, 
the dramatic conclusion where we're taking our one terabyte boot drive, we're using a 60 gig SSD to speed it up using Intel SRT technology and behold. So I ran the hard drive test three times, single drive, single hard drive alone, no SRT. SRT first attempt and then SRT second attempt. So you can see here, the score we get in PC marks is about 4,000 with just the hard drive. As soon as we add SRT technology, 4,500. So what that means is that it is learning really fast because even the first time we run this drive, as soon as things start to get used, oh, okay, we used it a couple times. Let's store it on the SSD. Let's get some more performance out of it. Then if you run the, drive, the benchmark again, back to back, check this out. 24,000 PC marks. So let's go down and have a look at the specific results. So we're going to compare the hard drive alone to SRT once it has learned what's going on. And you can see here that for the Windows Defender test, the gaming test, importing pictures, we're seeing anywhere from 3x to 10x the performance going from non-SRT to SRT. Now, all of this is a bit of a best case scenario, but what it means is that you should start seeing performance improvements on your system pretty much right away. It's not gonna work for everything. Let's say there's an application you use once a month. You know what, it's not really gonna work. But for things like Windows Boot, let's say every time you turn on your computer, you open up Internet Explorer, Word, and Steam. Those applications, the, one you use, the ones you use frequently, they're going to load up so much faster, you're going to get dramatically better performance. So that is our video today on Intel SRT technology featuring the Z68X UD4B3 from Gigabyte, as well as their easy utility, which really was literally a few clicks of a button to get SRT technology working. Thanks, Gigabyte. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips.